Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to analyze Garam Masala, directed by one of my favorite directors, Priyadarshan. The movie released in 2005 was the remake of Priyadarshan's 1985 Malayalam film Boeing Boeing, which itself was heavily inspired from the 1965 film Boeing Boeing, which in turn was based on the 1960 French play of the same name. I know, that's a long journey. So, let's discuss why this film is considered as one of the finest films in the comic genre. Let us break down the various aspects of the film. Number 1, the script. I searched about the movie on Google and this is what I found. Two friends, Sham and Makran, enter a photographing competition. Sham wins and travels to the US and upon his return, he finds his friend enjoying a carefree life with three women. Sham decides to disrupt his life and each tries to outdo the other, both romantically and professionally. Not that exciting, right? But once we start watching the film, it's the total opposite. John Abraham had just started his movie career when he did Garam Masala. In an interview with Komal Nata, John had mentioned that he found it difficult filming Garam Masala. Hello, my film is going to leave Garam Masala. After what are you talking about? Three days later. He was leaving. He was leaving. He said, I can't do this film. No, I was going to say Priyan Sir. Because I was going to say that on the third day, I said, you know, it's going to be with me. Shyam and Makran are the two people. Shyam and Makran are the two people. Don't say Mac. Don't say Mac. I mean Mac. Don't say Mac. Don't say Mac. Don't say Mac. This is what he prefers to be called, a photographer who worked for the magazine Garam Masala. Sham gets an opportunity to go to America after winning the title for Best Photographer, which leaves Mac disappointed. His senior helps him to get a job as a caretaker and also beautiful air hostesses. The majority of the film takes place indoors. This is what Mac says when he meets a girl. This is what my mother gave me to my dad. My dad gave me to my mother and my mother gave me to my mother. And he said this, In short, there is a house where Mac lives and has to manage all his girls with the biggest task being the girls not meeting each other. This is the core of the script. I wonder how Priyadarshan must have narrated the story to the actors. As I mentioned before, this might seem very simple on paper but the various aspects of the film makes it great with one of the most important aspects being the dialogues. The dialogues in the film are perfectly aligned with the situational comedy. Comedy is always about give and take and should be performed with perfect timing. The dialogues are in lengthy. Most of it are hilarious one-liners and the dialogues are delivered with perfect timing. There's a scene where Mac introduces his uncle to Mambo played by Parish Rawal and this is how he responds. Tum main kaam karo. Tum chai banao. Aur suno. Tum jante ho ye kaun hai? Chai peene wala. It's a very simple scene and if you have watched the film you might know that Mambo doesn't speak much but when he does he's hilarious. Mac had just introduced his uncle and what do we expect Mambo to reply either yes or no but what does he say chai peene wala he says this line with a straight face with no exaggeration which makes it more funnier as i mentioned before comedy is about give and take and this scene is a great example mac asked him to make chai and mambo uses the keyword chai to deliver the dialogue back to him mambo had mentioned at the start of the film mujhe koi fark nahi padta jo chai ho karo and he does the same he doesn't care about anyone Priyadarshan had excluded some characters and scenes that were originally present in the Malayalam version which were hilarious but after watching the Hindi version I don't think that this decision really impacted the film because he managed to keep the Hindi version hilarious too Neeraj Vora the dialogue writer did a fabulous job in creating funny one liners Number 3 humor style Garam Masala is a situational comedy let me show you an example of situational comedy from one of my favorite films Gangs of Wasipur <laughs> Sultan is in a hurry to kill someone. He kicks the door, but it doesn't open because that's not how you open it. It's a serious scene, but the door here creates a situation which makes the scene funnier. Priyadarshan is a master at making situational comedies. The best part is he knows how to place the humor in a scene. He puts his characters in difficult situations. If you look at Mambo and Babbun, they are not funny characters. They don't have a funny body language or a funny tone. They are serious characters who react the way they do. Let's take an example. This is how Babbun introduces Anjali. Mama, are ye Mac ke hone wale bacche ki maa hai? Kya? Hame mera matlab Mac ki mangetra hai Anjali, jo Mac se milna chahti hai. He says this in a serious tone. He thought it's the right thing to say, but then changes it. The chai pine wala scene that we discussed earlier is also a perfect example. 
Mambo laughs only once in the entire movie and it's hilarious. I'm ready. <laughs> Number 4, the performances. Everyone in the movie performed well. All the actresses played their part well. John Abraham performed very well. His comic timing was perfect and I believe it's his best performance in a comic role till date. Manoj Joshi and Rajpal Yadav too did a great job. Parish Rawal had the best one liners in the film. There's a scene in the movie where Akshay is hitting John and John walks towards Parish Rawal to get his back. Let's watch this scene. <laughs> Parish Rawal's reaction is the best part of the scene. He could have just stayed silent watching, but his scary reaction made this scene funny. That's what great actors do. They react and stay involved in each and every scene. And speaking about Akshay Kumar, he performed exceptionally great. Even in scenes where there was no scope of performing, he turned it into a memorable one. What did you understand? Why are you shaking your head? I strongly believe it's one of the finest performances by a Bollywood actor in a comic role. Filmmaking is a collaborative process. All the actors supported each other in the comic scene. If you have seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. As I mentioned before, timing is very critical in comedy. and even if one actor misses the timing it might affect the scene so if you are a filmmaker a writer or an actor this film is a great example on how to present comedy there's a very high probability to overreact in comedy but this film managed to hit the mark kya kar rahe cinema chal raha hai idhar chalo apna kaam karo thank you for watching please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you really enjoyed my work see you soon